So I got this dog now. And uh, you're not truly a dog owner unless you own an Overland collapsible bowl. I know. Sam's. There she is. Oh, sorry. There she is. Oh, she's looking so kind of crazy. This is her first walk to the Dougie Accessible Trail. He is a, uh, isn't he an attorney in town? See, I should have paid to have this built. Then my name could be up there. I get the carry on and. There's our dog. She's almost scab free. That's got a bug. Um. Okay, well, I get paid on Friday. Here we I go. Yeah, I'll fly United. I don't really care when I fly. As long as I mean. Like little tiny newborns. She's only one, so we don't let people touch her. I need to put a sign on her that says, please do not kiss the dog. How are y'all? I've decided this video is just going to simply be about this trail. Welcome to Alabama Birding Trails. Women go there, men go there. You know you're in the men's room because no matter how big a urinal is, for some unknown reason, men, some men can't ring it. It could be the size of this where all you had to do is stand there and for some reason some guy would be over there. So if you've never been up here, this place is amazing. It is more accessible now, I will admit that, which makes it really nice because everyone can enjoy it. Before, it was simply, um, you'd walk through the woods, which I liked, but if I had you know, trouble or difficulties walking through the woods. Then I would wish there would be something like this so I could go enjoy this. So it's good. And if I want to walk through the woods or want to walk through the woods, I would just go down there. Then wonder what that piece of string is around that tree. So you have several options up here two actually now you have several you can go anywhere you want to it's a state park you can go over there up in those woods and lay down and take a nap old glory flag i can't read the other words I forget what that says. My people are leaving me. This is... We haven't decided on the dog's name yet. It's going to be Rash, since she's so rough. Maybe Scabs, because she's got a lot of scabs. Right now, her name tag says Ragdoll. But Audie, my oldest squirrel, wants to change it to rag dog. I tell you what else is cool. Little tip: all these little things, not all of them, grow little wild blueberries, and they're actually good. I've heard that that's where rattlesnakes like to hang out. Like, take for instance that squirrel right there. It has a sore on its back. But I've never seen a rattlesnake up here at all. I've got a picture of myself where I set up the camera. It's just me and all my offspring up here sitting on a rock. And I've been wanting to recreate it. Now that everybody's all growed out and their skin stretched tighter over their skin or their bones. But this past couple of days is the only time in years I've got everybody in the same spot at the same time. You know what? I think it was that on that Audi. 
Is that the rock we took the picture on? When? <laughs> when we took the picture on a rock? It's been like 95 to 101 the past week. Today, up here, it's probably 74 and 6 18ths. You do the arithmetic. I know what you're doing. You're trying to figure out what 6 18ths is in a a smaller fraction. Well, you do you. We are already almost to the end, but it's pretty neat. There's a uh, different little interactive boards everywhere. When I was growing up, these were called posters and you just read them. Now they're considered interactive boards. You got oak, short leaf pine, wild fake cherry trees. See any long leaf pines up here? It says Alabama, so there's some spelling errors. Would you believe they spelled that wrong? The earth has three trillion trees. Let's look at this one Native American footsteps. Again, someone didn't do their research. They prefer to be called Indians because that's what their ancestors were called. If you don't believe me, and you're a casino goer, go talk to, if you go to Mississippi, talk to anyone working there because it's owned and operated by Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians and ask them. And they'll say, Indian. Where'd my people go? Oh, they're already at the end. And that's true. I'm not trying to be funny. So this is the end. It's not a long walk. It's an easy walk. You can bring a wheelchair. You can bring... Possibly even one of those little electric scooter doofludges. I gotta get my dad up here again. I'm on the top of the world looking. Feeling on the top of the world. We made it. There's the bald rock sign. Well, my hands smell like dog. That's what you get for owning one. So this is the highest point in Alabama. It is a third of the height of the highest point in Tennessee. Or Tennessee, if you will. There are a lot of scorpions up here. I've never seen a snake up here. Never seen a rattlesnake, never seen a rat snake, never seen any kind of snake up here. Now at the falls I did. I saw a little water snake.
We'll probably see a uh, rattlesnake here in a minute. I don't know why people would break these, although I guess it could rust in there and break. Some people uh, stack rocks. In creeks and stuff. They do it here too, look. Cheese me. Where's my dog? Right here. Go down. She's talking to the dog like it's a child. Now you gotta be careful with her now. I hope he understands her. Dogs don't understand English. They understand repetition. I want to sit her down to the Discipline. Oh, really? You getting hot? What is that? Is that a scab? <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, I was sorry. So I'm just scared. You need to turn that frown upside down, woman. Cody, dude. Okay, heading back down. Yeah, she get all nervous. I got some cute ones. Yeah, I took a. Did a few too. <laughs> oh, that's good. There you go. Hi, I know it is cool. It's really nice. So that's the whole journey. <laughs> Are we going that way or that way? Well, that's a drop off. Let's go this way. You want to Yeah, let's walk the dirt back since we did the trail up here. Did you just do the safety dance? I guess I need to put my foamy on my uh, camera since you're probably getting a lot of wind noise. <laughs> okay, now for those of y'all who do not believe the scorpion story, Although last time I did a video of flipping rocks in the National Forest people said Oh, they got triggered If people love nature as much as I did they'd come walk through the field at my house 
back at the base camp and let all the ticks get on them and feed them if you really love nature I do that I'll feed them now I have to find the elusive <coughs> what was that did you see that oh it's a grasshopper scorpion Hey, I like that b-roll so if you bring your kids up here and they want to walk through the rocks and look for scorpions and snakes and stuff like that you really can't lose them because this path is right next to it all the way down I'd get them back up on board before you get to the end because it just ends so we're gonna go to the little store next We'll cruise past the hotel and look at it. This is for those of y'all who have never been. I will put the foam on the uh, camera so you don't hear this. <laughs> they just had a prescribed burn up here. That's why everything's burned. Geronimo's at the beach, but they can't get in the water. There's a double red flag. And they've had to rescue a lot of people, so she can't go in the water. Lately, I've been down to the top, taking my way to the dark side. I want to be your left hand man. Watch out, look at that. <laughs> what is it? I am the ashes from our American flag that has flown over a home or business in Alabama. I can no longer fly. The sun, winds, and weather have caused me to become tattered, torn, and faded. I am no longer fit for proper display, but I have served my purpose. Lord, please look out for this beautiful place. Respect it and love it as I do. Protect it from further development that I may never be disturbed. My name is Old Glory. Maybe it's in this thing? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. For bat. Looks like there's a Rubik's Cube in it. There's a geocache. Oh, look at that fat squirrel. Oh, she's checking it out. I don't think she's ever seen Yeah, walk over there. See if she'll eat it. <laughs> the word is no. I think it's a, a geocache. It is, look. Geocache, do not take. Have you ever, y'all ever seen one? No, what is it? It's a geocache, do not take. Okay. But you can still look at it, right? Yeah, you can, we'll go to this rock and we'll put it back. So here's the way it works. I've found them where they've fallen in creeks and washed and washed and washed and washed. You get your face off of there. Do not take you may track item so you mark it on your little geocache adventures i need six more fingers oh that's neat okay, cube. it's got half the bible a rubik's cube and then this should tell who all came here and saw it or found it maybe not yeah geocache logbook 4824 i just started it pretty cool Let's see. Bronson Hall. That's pretty cool. He put in one of his um, baseball cards. Oh yeah, that is cool. What's the what's the penny? It's a shield penny. Oh, the Mets. The Mets. So yeah, you don't do anything. You might. I think some of them you take something. Some of them you leave something. I'm not sure. Oh, somebody put in a um. A squirrel probably did that. Somebody, see, I I in somebody needs to solve that and put it back in there. That would be impressive. Let's see. Bronson. You got any money? I don't yeah, think you I put keep... money on. So I don't know what the date is. Today is June. What? 19th. 19th. Oh, 6 
Then you mark the coordinates on your device or however you choose to do it. Seal it back up right and leave it where you found it. That way other people can come and do it too. It would be kind of fun. I've found a bunch of those things and just checked them out and put them back because I didn't know what they were until I realized what they were. How about the emerald? And that's it. There's a lodge up there. For some reason it has a sign that says private drive now. So it must be rented. I don't know. So I'm heading back over here and I'm going to put this in the geocache underneath here. Except I don't want them to sit on that. Those ladies had three kids with them and every one of them ran to the steps over there and wanted to go down and they said no because they wanted to be able to see them see they should have put them on this side i was going to say something but see something say nothing so go back to the geocache put it in here done So that was the lodge. Now we'll go look at something else at Chihuahua. <laughs> what? It is simply. <laughs> what? That's a honeybee. I'm trying to make a professional video here. And you're like in freak out. Let's try this again. What you have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a little cabin. Actually, it looks like a church. There's pews in there. Oh, I can smell them. Pew. Pew. That's an Alexander Activities building. What's oh, It's like red. I can't. That's why you don't. That's why we don't need a dog. Resourceful or resourceful? Resourceful. Thank you. That is the upper improved campgrounds, and in front of us is the chalets and the cabins. So we're going to go there next. I don't know if this is a chalet or a cabin. Now that is a single wide where someone resides who's probably the manager over the uh, campground. There's some drummers over here. Give me a beat. This is where Jeanette Jackson actually got her start. So a lot of people come up here to train to learn to play the drums in the woods.
know if that's a cabin or a chalet. It's hard to tell these days. There's another one. That looks like a chalet. I got a rock in my sandal, but I don't think it's gonna matter. This is the pool, it's where people go pooling. And here is the, what used to be a restaurant. I don't know if it's open anymore. The problem is, it's hard to find somebody who wants to drive all the way up here, work for minimum wage, and then you gotta be able to buy all the food and serve all the people that come, and there's just no way to make money. It is a beautiful place, and always has been. So this is what you see when you come up here. We will go to the Chiha Lake next. In a moment. Well, I sit corrected. It's now called Vista Cliffside Event Center. Pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. It's a pretty place. enough so can run away and we're done also veterans get in here for no money unless you're just feeling kind that's the store that's the airhead museum and that's the Penn honey mineral gym mines company is a primitive campground pretty much just sit there and ponder built by the CCR Credence Clearwater Revival I'm just kidding there's also an interpretive center here which is uh, like first Peter says not open any personal interpretation this place isn't either what they say goes up there is a picnic shelter Let's say your picnic is really scared and it needs to be sheltered to take it up there. So this is the lake and inside this spot right over here is the interpretive center and the little brick building. And tons of people come down here and go and picnic and hang out and have parties and dance and sing and all that kind of stuff. They got regular swings for like full-size people and if you want to put like a full-size person in a person in a giant black diaper you put them into the things next to them they're plastic so they are leak resistant that's where we were i'm wrong the, 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 the. that's where we were back way up on top of the mountain way up top there <laughs> 